good evening you know right welcome to my channel once again and if you are joining us for the first time this is algebra academy youtube channel this time around my video is particular to 300 level students the present 300 level students that are currently undergoing their cus cus is fully known as the student industrial work experience scheme and you know it is a very important scheme to the student and even for the university to the student in the sense that this is the first time they will be exposed to the practical aspect or the industrial aspect of whatever course they are you know doing and it is important to the university because they have made it either six units for some department or maybe five or four units for, for other departments but for faculty of life sciences that i know of it is six units i don't know about that faculty but i know of faculty of life sciences it is six units number one and secondly it is the only course you can register in second semester 300 level that means for second semester 300 level you are not expected you are expected to be at your place of cus you are not expected to be in school at all you can't register any other course with it now it is something you should not joke with because if you are able to make a in series it is as good as you wrote 5.0 for the whole second semester if you have b it is like you have 4.0 if you have c like 3.0 and so on and so forth now i you agree with me that you don't want to have c the least you should have in series is just b so at least it boosts your gp a bit now this video is to explain three things about series because those three things will get you your scores for your series let me say two or three things number one is your logbook number two is defense number three is report the reason why i said two or three is that for some departments they don't do defense the little they do is just report and logbook and for some other departments they do the three so for those that are doing two, then you get your scores from those two places. And for the three parts, you get your scores from those three places. But for both parts, logbook and report is constant. So for this video, we'll be explaining logbook. And in subsequent videos, we can talk about report and uh, defense. Now, your logbook, that is the book you are given, that was given to you, to your CUX um, place of attachment. That logbook, it is the first evidence that you undergo the six month training because your series lasts for a period of six months. It is the first evidence to show. Now, because not everybody is present at your place of series, in fact, your lecturers are not there. But for them to agree with you that, okay, you actually did it, you must present something to them that will convince them completely that, oh, you were there for the period of six months or maybe five months or four months, as the case may be. Because you can, you may spend some time looking for placement, and you must have wait, some people waste like two or three months looking for placement. And this is the major reason why CWS is made six months. Before now, it used to be three months, but I think two or three years back, it was, um, you know, increased to six months. So that even if you could not get placement in two months, you still have like four months to spend. And um, you know, you can tell me the load of things you will get in four months when you are undergoing physical and practical training now having said that uh, what does your logbook entails now logbook the instructions are there to follow if you follow the instructions in your logbook you will get it right but i think you still need advice and experience to come in too now i will def divide the talks on logbook into three number one is the itf form at the back Number two is the ITF form eight. And number three is your day-to-day -day activity, how to record it. Now, for the ITF form at the back, the first one that you, used, that you submitted at ITF office, anyone in the state you are undergoing your series, that one you have to submit probably after four months, I'm sorry, four weeks. If you have spent like four, three to four weeks at your place of series, then you are expected to go and submit that ITF form to the ITF office. In any state you are doing it the reason for that three to four weeks is that you should be sure that you will be doing your series in that place for the period of six months 
But at least where you have spent four weeks, you will have be ascertained that okay, you'll be able to spend completely the time for the sewers there. So when you are sure, then you can go and submit at ITM. So this is to tell you that if at any point in time you change location, probably maybe you are doing it in Lorraine and you have already submitted at ITM in Lorraine after like four weeks, then maybe the company in Lorraine folds up uh, or something happened and you could not continue the sewers with them, then you transfer to another state like Lagos, then it is expected that when you get to that new place, you submit to the ITM in Lagos too to show that you have actually changed location away from Kwara State to Lagos State. And by the way, that particular time you are changing, you may not be changing to the same company. What, what do I mean by that? Maybe you are doing it in an hospital in Lorry. Then when you transfer to Lagos, you transfer to a company that, you know, a producing company. It is there are two different things hospital and a producer company there are two different things so how do you report the logbook in that case now i'm still coming back to that so the other form which is itf form it that one has three parts part a part b and part c the part a is for the student the part b is for the employer and the part c is for the institution so you fill that part a yourself you give that part b to your employer your serious um, supervisor in your place of attachment and the part C you submit to serious unit in school to be completed by them. Now the third part which is the day in day out activity. Now for the first and second week it is expected that what you'll be writing there is that you are still observing what is being done because you cannot tell me that the first week you resume is when you start working. No you still be looking at them work depending on where you are doing your serious but I know of hospitals very well they cannot just entrust those tests in your capacity immediately you get there you must undergo that training and be looking at them for like a month or it depends on how fast you grab it before they can start saying okay you should go and do this and that so those places should just be introduction you are being you are being introduced to this you are being introduced to that in those four weeks. so during the course of introduction you are explaining what you are introduced to, to us i'll use a speech as, an, as a case study so that companies can just translate it to whatever they are doing in their own uh, companies too because i know of hospitals very well you know in an hospital you can have various tests being done in the medical lab because you'll be attached to the medical laboratory of hospital or it may be a private lab too you'll be doing tests like pcb like wbc like full block count like um, um esr like mcs like eu creatinine like blood grouping like genotype like wider various tests like that those in the hospital already know what i mean by all those things now it is possible that you do all those tests in a day if you do it in a very big hospital. For instance, myself, I did it in a very big hospital. It is possible that we do those tests in a day. Now, you ask yourself that those spaces provided, those spaces provided for Monday, for instance. Now, let's say you do all those tests on Monday alone. How are you going to report everything for Monday? Now, in the first week, like I said, you are introducing. For instance, now you observe that they are doing PCV, then you write. PCV, which is packed cell volume, was done, and it's a test to know the total amount of blood in the patient's body. Then MCS, microscopy culture and sensitivity, was done to know if bacteria will grow in so so, depending on the sample you are using. You know, those times you are introducing us to everything you are doing, and you are telling us what they mean. Now, immediately after the introduction, maybe after the first and second week, the third week, it's expected that you should be doing some things on your own. Now that time, you don't need to be explaining again. Just write PCB was done. We already know what PCB means in the first and second week. You've already explained to us. So it's just PCB was done, why that was done, so something was done. Just be writing it. That will make those little spaces contain whatever you are doing in each day, which you have already explained in the first and second week. So those doing it in companies too, it is only in the first or second week that you are introducing it. You are being introduced to what they are doing that you need to be explaining and explaining. Even the explanation should be summarized because your report is still there to do more of the explanation. So just summarize the meaning of those things so that when next you are talking about that thing, you don't really need much explanation again. Just tell us that it is being done. That is how to report in that. So that it will be very neat and, you know, the supervisor will know that, oh, you actually know what you are doing. And I will advise that the moment you start your series, don't start reporting in your logbook immediately 
you can get a notebook and be reporting there. So maybe probably towards the end of your training, you can now transfer to your logbook. But you must have informed your supervisor before that time that okay, you may not because the reason in the in the logbook that you should submit your logbook to your supervisor every week at the end of every week for signing and comment and um, stamping. But you, should, you must you can, you can just explain to the supervisor that okay. I want to be reporting a notebook then later i transfer to this book so that when i want to transfer you can sign everything together they almost all of them will agree to that i don't know some are very strict that we know i agree but almost all of them will agree to that so but then once you are notified by serious unit because when serious unit want to come and supervise you they will notify you that they are coming so so day before they come make sure you update to that date don't go and leave it empty when they come because they will just collect your serious logbook and check what you have done so far so if they are coming then you can report to that day that they are coming and continue with the normal the, um, style you adopted so that is that about reporting and getting it updated now diagram parts diagram is very very important and i will explain diagram in two parts now the first part is you know diagram is just weekly what you did in the whole week diagram should be there sometimes that space may not contain everything you have done just pick the um reality the 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 the, 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 the um, equipment that you know we attract you know what you are using in your area of attachment the equipment that you know you can draw very well that you know that you can draw very well and this that can, it is very easy for you to draw put those ones there don't go and pick an equipment that even an artist will not be able to do it for you just put the equipment that you know you can draw very well and to be very neat. You put it there and don't lift those pieces too scanty. Put every equipment there and let it be legible. If you if it requires for someone to draw it for you, give it to someone, let them do that for you. That's part one. Part two, and this concerns a plant biology student, most especially, because we have some of them that are doing it in companies that grow flowers. I'm sorry, um, yeah, companies that grow flowers, the horticulture. Or is it floriculture? I don't know what you call it. So let them in those places. I've seen cases whereby a student is doing it in that place and she needs to draw the flowers. You know, flowers sometimes they look alike. The only thing that differentiates them is color. So if you want to draw that kind of thing, I would advise that you go and Google out the flower, print it out, and put on those places. It's accepted. Because if you draw it yourself, you may not be able to use your pencil to indicate. And differentiate the colors of those flowers you can just directly print it out and place on that play on that um, diagram part and you can easily explain to your supervisor that due to the color the difference in color that's why you decide to put it there because if you draw it it will look alike and it is not the same thing that's acceptable so you after doing that your I expect that your logo should be very neat if you follow all these uh, advice I'm giving you now you know you are supposed to be writing it weekly that week one week two do week 26. we have it that sometimes it will not be completely 26 weeks because you might have spent some time looking for placements now so no offense if you are not able to complete 26 weeks no offense because someone asked me that um the school resumed november 20. what if november 20 you have not completed the 26 weeks resume when school resumes resumption stands so they even expect that it is not everyone that will complete the 26 weeks but at least you'll almost complete the 26 weeks and for your own sake if i were you i already know what we are doing every day so even if i have not completed the 26 weeks i can just report that we did it and we go away that's part one part two when you are reporting your log because some people where they are doing their series it may be that they are doing shifting that you're coming on monday you're not coming on tuesday you come on thursday like that now you don't need to report in your logbook that okay it's only monday then tuesday you write i'm not on duty wednesday i'm not on duty thursday i'm not on duty friday you now report again that is not even making sense to anybody you already know what you do in your area of attachment just keep reporting in those places even if you are not there it is not expected that you now start writing i'm not on duty i'm not on duty that's number one number two be careful of dates when you are reporting. For instance, if you are doing it in a company that go on public holiday, immediately federal government announced it. When is that Independence Day? October 1st. 
that company is not expected to be to be working on that day. Then you now report that you work on that day. You know, you already shoot yourself in the leg. Because they will just check. And you know, when you submit logbook, they will not give you back to you for correction. Once you submit logbook, it has gone like that. They will grade you. Now imagine that when they are opening, they just observe that you reported on independence day and they went to and they go to check the company you did it. They said that they com this company does not operate on public holidays. They will count it as though that you did not do the CWS, you are just writing what you, you know, presume that they are doing in that place. Workers Day, for instance. If where you are doing your CWS, Workers Day, they don't come. They will not report on Workers Day. That is another offense. And they will not come and tell you, they will just grade you straight based on that. But if, for instance, you are doing it in an hospital, hospital don't go on break, they don't go on holidays. So those ones, you can report in all of the days you are free. But I'm talking about, I'm talking to those that are doing it in companies that they don't come or they don't operate on public holidays. So you take those things, you take importance of them when you are reporting your logbook. Make sure you take importance of the dates, the diagrams, and summarize your explanation in the first and second week. The subsequent weeks, just write it straight that this was done, that was done, and make sure that it is in reporting speech. And those forms at the back do it as appropriate. So, in my next video, I'll be explaining reports and defense. But let me brief you. Report it is already in your logbook at the back. How to write your report is already written at the back. So follow the steps of that and you know you are good to go about report so in my next video i'll be explaining how to go about reports and um, for those doing defense i'll be giving you some tips to follow as well so to that time you can drop your question in the comment section make sure you like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you get notified anytime i drop video on this channel thank you until next time my name remains ojibra